This is a video guide to installing the Pro Warm Overlay Heating Panel's warm water system. This guide uses a single loop system, but the advice also applies to multi loop systems. This video is not designed to replace the Pro Warm installation manual, and you should ensure you have read it thoroughly before installation. For information on manifolds and pumps for use in single loop and multi loop systems, please refer to our manifold and pumps videos found on our webpage or contact us on 01268 567 019. The Pro Warm Advanced Overlay Heating Water System is perfect for heating your home or office and straightforward to install. Our heating boards utilize an 18mm dry screed board made from high-density gypsum to ensure maximum performance. The boards act as a heat conducting surface, transferring the heat to the floor above. The best floor coverings to combine with the Pro Warm overlay boards are hard surfaces, such as stone and tiles, as they offer the lowest thermal resistance. If you have any questions regarding the installation procedure, please contact our Technical Support Centre on 01268 567 019. The Pro Warm Overlay End Support has multiple snapping points, which enables a more flexible approach to underfloor heating installation. Unlike other manufacturers' end returns, it holds up to five runs of pipe in place around the perimeter without the need for additional pipe clips. Your Pro Warm Overlay Heating Panel Kit should contain the following items. 18mm panels, snap-off end returns, overlay polyurethane glue, pump and mixing valve and manifold, 12mm PEX AL HDPE pipe. Before laying these panels, the subfloor must be level. If installing onto a concrete or screed floor, this may require leveling using a suitable self-leveling compound. If installing onto a wooden subfloor, you may need to either secure the existing flooring using suitable screws or reinforce and level the floor using a suitable thickness of WBP plywood. Planning the Pro Warm Overlay layout beforehand will save time during installation. Choose a suitable position for the underfloor heating pump and manifold to be sited. This will determine how the pipes will be laid out. A pipe layout design service will be provided if you have received a bespoke quotation. For areas that do not require the underfloor heating, such as beneath kitchen units, an 18mm WBP plywood can be installed as a direct replacement. This will need to be secured to the subfloor using screws spaced at every 150mm centres. A single loop or circuit can cover up to 12 square metres. A room larger than this will require a manifold to allow for multiple circuits. A single circuit should not exceed 80 linear metres of pipe. Our overlay floor panels are recommended for most ceramic or stone tiled floor coverings and they must be installed on a suitable structurally sound and level subfloor such as plywood or solid screed. The boards are laid in place and a bead of glue is applied along the edges before the adjacent boards are laid. The end supports require fixing down to the subfloor. However, there is no requirement to fix the overlay boards down as they hold themselves in place. Each board weighs 10 kilograms. In multi-loop systems, you will be supplied an additional heating pipe manifold which handles the distribution of the water flow. You will also need the following tools to assist the installation. Polyurethane expanding foam glue, sealant gun, 5mm notched trowel, marker pen, circular saw or jigsaw, router to cut out any additional channels in the heating panels, dust mask, suitable size bucket or other large flexible type bucket from DIY hardware stores, rotary drill, mixing paddle, roller for applying the primer, safety glasses to be used when mixing adhesive or self-leveling compound, gloves for handling the panels. Before you install the Pro Warm Advanced Overfloor Heating Panel, you must ensure the floor is flat. If installing on a wooden subfloor, ensure all plywood boards are flat, with no protruding nails, screws, and are completely free from debris and solidly fixed down. If installing onto a concrete base, use a suitable levelling compound to flatten out any bumps in the surface. 
All solid floor substrates, such as concrete, must be fully cured and thoroughly dry. Failure to ensure the floor has been adequately flattened will produce an uneven installation surface and could damage the system and the floor finish. If you are in any doubt, please contact our Technical Support Centre for advice on 01268 567 019. You are now ready to begin installation of the ProWarm Overlay Heating Panel. Before beginning the installation of the heating pipe, create a plan of how the pipe will be laid, ensuring you record where it will lie, bend and that the pipes maintain the optimum distance for your system as stated in the guide. Your installation pack may have been supplied with an example diagram. If you are in any doubt, contact our Technical Support Centre for advice on 01268 567-019. The ProWarm overlay end returns have several unique snap-off points that accommodate for up to five runs around the perimeter. If the design only requires one or three pipe runs, simply snap off the panel to suit. These can then be fixed down using screws and suitable fixing plugs where fixing to screed. Whilst referring to your plan, begin by laying two end supports in the position you intend to start laying the boards. Fix these to the floor using screws and plugs if needed. Now you can start laying the first row of overlay boards, one at a time. The first board will be pushed up against the end support. Before laying the second overlay board, ensure that a bead of the polyurethane glue is applied along the edge that meets the second board. All of the overlay boards that follow can be laid in the same way, ensuring that a bead of glue is applied to all edges that meet the other boards. The pipe will sit in the grooves, so these should face upward and be orientated to accommodate your planned pipe route. When you reach the end of the first row of overlay boards, the end supports must be fixed in place before laying the last board. Once the end supports have been fixed in place, the gap for the last board can be measured. If needed, the last panel may need to be cut to fit. This can be cut using a circular or jigsaw. You must wear suitable protective clothing and dust mask. Ensure that you cut in a well-ventilated area or outside. Once the boards have been laid, you will need to ensure that the polyurethane joint glue has dried. The excess from this can then be scraped off using a paint scraper. You may be required to modify the heating panel and end returns to navigate round permanent fixtures and fittings. The end returns have been designed to offer the greatest amount of flexibility when designing the route of the heating pipes. You can snap these to allow for up to five pipe runs to allow for several layout configurations. In certain areas, such as corridors, it may be necessary to cut additional channels in the overlay panels. If you find you need to create a new channel, this can be done using an electric router. Please ensure you wear appropriate safety wear. A dust mask and safety goggles are required. The heating panels are very heavy and dense with a very high compressive strength. Unlike other panels, there is not an issue with walking over or working on these panels before the floor finish is laid. Planning of the pipe layout is necessary to ensure you do not install any more than 80 meters of pipe on a single loop. When installing the boards and in considering pipe placement, set the pipe back from walls and doorways approximately 50 to 100 millimeters to anticipate future placement of carpet gripper rails and other fixtures. Allow extra pipe at the pump or manifold for adjustment once the installation is complete. Installing the heating pipe. Once the installation of the ProWarm overlay panels is complete, you are now ready to install the heating pipe. We recommend giving the glue one to two hours to dry before commencing with the pipe installation. The heating panels can withstand foot traffic without damage to the boards. Ensure your floor is free from any debris before installing the pipe. It's important to check in all the grooves as the pipes could be damaged during installation if there are any obstructions. Starting at the manifold or pump, Begin unspooling the pipe in the direction of the grooves. Allow extra pipe length at the manifold to accommodate any unforeseen rerouting issues and do not cut the pipe until the pipe has been installed in full. At this point the pipe can be laid into the grooves, allowing some slack on the pipe at the manifold. For ease of installation, lay the pipe flat and unroll whilst the coil is on its side, not with the coil in an upright position. 
This ensures that the pipe does not spring out of the board's grooves. Ideally, a pipe decoiler should be used. The panels can then be primed using the Ultra MSP Multi-Surface Primer. The primer can take between 30 minutes and 3 hours to dry, depending upon room temperature. If installing a multi-loop system at a manifold, use your marker pen to clearly label each pipe for flow, return and loop number for each heating pipe loop in the system. Pipe layout is not critical and you can lay them to suit your needs. The installation of the pipe should be installed by two people. The first person walks ahead and unspools the pipe, whilst the second person carefully presses the pipe into the grooves. Bends and curves are easily manipulated by hand, but be sure not to overbend or kink the pipe. You can easily observe how much pipe has been installed in the loop thanks to the handy meter marks printed along the length of the supplied heating pipe. Once the pipe installation is complete, ensure the pipe flow, return and loop number is clearly marked to ensure mistakes are not made when connecting to the manifold or pump. At this stage, it's a good idea to protect your installation by placing boards down where you're expecting heavy traffic to prevent damage to the pipework. When installing floor tiles, you must ensure that the heating panel and pipes have been installed correctly and provide a sound and stable substrate that is completely flat. You must also ensure that this surface is clean and free from any contamination which could inhibit the adhesion of the tiles. Begin by applying Primate MSP neat to the upper face of the boards. This should be applied by brush or roller in a thin film. Allow to thoroughly dry to a clear film. This should take between one and four hours, depending on room conditions. Fix the tiles with a three to five millimeter coat of Ultra Pro Flex reinforced S2 adhesive using a notched trowel. This must cover all of the board, inclusive of the grooved area where the pipe has not been installed. Note, any spare pipe can be used to fill in the groove not used in the heating circuits. Grout the tiles using Ultra Tile Flex Joint Grout. Allow to fully cure before trafficking. The underfloor heating system should not be brought into service for at least 14 days. After this time, the water temperature should be brought up gradually by 5 degrees Celsius per day to the maximum working temperature normally 45 to 50 degrees Celsius internal pipe temperature. If you have any questions about the installing process, call our Technical Support Centre on 01268 567 019.